Good evening. Good evening. I'm so glad that you're here tonight. Tonight, I want to welcome you to a very memorable night, the memorial tribute to Robert Honer. This evening is very special. There are a great many people who have assisted in making it so. I would publicly like to thank faculty member and percussionist Jeff White for his extraordinary work gathering this evening together. And by his side, by his side have been faculty percussionists Toby Wilkinson and John Johnson, graduate assistants John Gage, Kelly Cotter, and Nathan Heim, and former faculty percussionist David Zerby. The percussion ensemble would also like to thank Chris Irons and Justin Andres of West River Lighting and Sound for their talent and time, which will make this night most memorable, and of course, Bob Ebner and the University Events Crew. It has been a difficult year since Bob's passing on September 29th a year full of loss for his students, both on stage tonight and in the audience, for his wife, Linda, who is here tonight, and for his friends. But this evening, we will celebrate Bob's life, his wonderful music, his enormous talent, and his priceless legacy. Robert Honer was an outstanding professor, a Yamaha artist, a Sabian artist, a Latin percussion company artist, he was nationally and internationally known for his commitment to the percussive arts, his great love for his students and their love for him, and the high quality of his artistry and that of the CMU Percussion Ensemble. The Robert Honer Percussion Ensemble has won praise in nearly every state and played twice at Carnegie Hall, Orchestra Hall in Detroit, and DeVos Hall in Grand Rapids. They have also produced five nationally acclaimed CDs. Having taken his degrees from Manhattan School of Music, Bob went on to play with the National Orchestra of New York, the Dartmouth Symphony, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra, and the Lansing Symphony Orchestra. He was awarded a 1998 Excellence in Teaching Award, and in 1999, a President's Award for Creative and Scholarly Activity. A quote by Bill William Butler Yeats seems very fitting when applied to Robert Honer. Yeats said, education is not the filling of a pail, but rather the lighting of a fire. The glow from Honer's fire will warm generations of musicians to come as these percussion ensemble members tonight on stage and the hundreds of alums before them carry Bob's torch into the world. The final time I saw Bob was on a very windy day last September 4th in downtown Detroit at Robert McCabe's Ford International Jazz Festival. The percussion ensemble was out front playing to a packed and enthusiastic audience, and Bob was backstage giving his students encouragement and support he was very ill. He would live only 25 more days, but he was there. Bob understood well that the teacher-student relationship and the whole area of mentorship takes place in a sacred place, a place where love and, and trust mix with discipline and responsibility, resulting in growth and understanding. The quality of his mentorship was the highest I had ever seen in 30 years in academe. I would like to read a short passage in closing from a poem by Christopher Logg entitled, Come to the Edge. To me, 
This passage best describes Bob Honer's priceless gift to these students. Come to the edge. We, we might fall. Come to the edge. It's too high. Come to the edge. And they came, and he pushed, and they flew. God bless you, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, the Robert Poner Percussion Ensemble. <laughs>